I just want to pay tribute to this great leader, this, this man who came up out of our soil and who believed in giving everybody an equal chance and a full chance to become all that they ought to be. I can think of nobody who deserves this distinction more. East Carolina University is a special place to all of us, but to none so much as Senator Robert Morgan. I remember his days in the State Senate. Today we live at a time when a lot of people use their positions of power to work and to speak for the vested interest, many of whom pay them big fees of various kinds. That wasn't Robert Morgan. Robert Morgan fought for the people, fought for the little people, fought for the average people, fought for the working people. And he did it in a powerful and very successful way. Don Helms and I were delighted to learn that East Carolina University is bestowing its highest honor, the Thomas Jordan Jarvis Medal, upon Senator Robert Morgan. Now, I had the high privilege and honor of serving with Robert Morgan in the United States Senate, and I know that East Carolina University has chosen wisely in its decision to honor this fine gentleman. After attending East Carolina in his youth, Senator Morgan has played a crucial role in its remarkable history. Senator Morgan was a leader in the drive to bring university status to East Carolina College. The development of a first-class medical school has been an enormously positive benefit for Eastern North Carolina. As an Eastern North Carolinian myself, one who worked with Robert Morgan and worked with Leo Jenkins in founding the medical school, I am so proud of him and I am so proud of the university for presenting their highest medal to this great son of the university, this great son of North Carolina, this great leader and advocate for our people.